Hello everyone, I'm back and I have another DIY tutorial for you and this one I am super excited about. Um, I mentioned in a previous video that I'm engaged and I'll be getting married at the end of the year. So um, I've been looking at a lot of bases, um, different types of bases that I wanted to use for um, my buffet area. And one of the bases that I really fell in love with was the reversible trumpet base. Um, I saw these on several different websites and I thought they were absolutely gorgeous, but they were kind of pricey. And so I am bringing you a reversible trumpet base made with 100% Dollar Tree items. Dollar Tree is the bomb. Dollar Tree and Michaels is saving my budget, guys. Like, they are really making my wedding happen. Um, and things are looking really, really good on the cheap. <laughs> so, I want to show you how to make this. And I'm going to show you very, very quickly how to make this. Because I've got to go. Because i got to go be with my grandbaby. <laughs> so, this is it. And hopefully you can see that. Um, I know everything is so... Uh, incredibly white in my office so you might not be able to see this but hopefully you can and I thought this came out absolutely freaking amazing this looks exactly like what you would be spending money for and I didn't get a chance to get a quote online um, I'll probably flash it uh, somewhere in the video and tell you what the retail price is for one of these things and I'm thinking this is probably about maybe I'm thinking the height may be about 16 to 17 inches once you complete it. Um, and this is a very nice size. So this wouldn't be the super big trumpet base, but this would be the medium size one, which is perfect. Um, you're still getting a lot of height. So I've got my trusty ruler here. And it is, uh, believe it or not, it is about 18 and a half inches. So once you complete this project, this measures about 18, 18 and a half inches, or maybe 18 and a quarter, okay? So a little under um, 19 inches. So that's pretty good. This is a nice height. So this is really great. I'm so glad I figured this out and I wanted to share this with you guys. So let's get right into it. I'm going to set this aside, okay? This is a completed project um, because you do have to wait 24 hours. Really, um, I would wait about... 48 to 72 hours for everything to really really just solidify with the uh, E6000. I'm going to put this to the side here. And um, okay so the items that you're going to need is you will need a Sharpie. Um, you're going to need some of these uh, magnetic, excuse me, magnifying sheets. Okay so you get this from the Dollar Tree. Everything is from the Dollar Tree. Magnifying sheets. You'll need maybe one or two of these just in case you make a mistake. You are going to need two of these uh, beer glasses. Okay. And you will need the smaller of the round uh, small glass vase. And then uh, this little glass candle holder, this is all over the Dollar Tree. You can usually find these. They, they keep these in stock pretty good, I believe. Of course, you will need your trusty E6000. Thank goodness for E6000. And then the flowers also came from the Dollar Tree. So what I used was about, I'm going to say I used probably about eight or nine of these um, hydrangeas. And I also used about nine of these uh, floral lilies, okay, just so that it was nice and full. All right, so those are the uh, flowers that you'll need. And basically, let me show you how to do this very, very quickly. Um, the only thing you're going to need to do is uh, get your, well, let's start with this first because I'm a little unorganized. Okay, so let's start with the, the uh, round small vase. Take this round small vase, get yourself an old greeting card, something that's a little heavy, okay? So some kind of cardboard type deal, all right? And then what you want to do is take the small vase, turn it upside down, use your Sharpie, 
and I would recommend that you only use Sharpie and not some off-brand because uh, I will tell you in a minute but just use a Sharpie okay and then take it and just draw all the way around the bowl and draw around the circumference of the opening of the vase okay so once you do that you should have a round circle let me do this again so just take that and don't worry about the sharpie uh, getting on the rim of the bowl it washes off and that's why I told you to use the sharpie because it's going to wash off once you've drawn your round circle from the opening of this small vase go ahead and cut it out this is your template take this and put it on your magnetic and I'm just going to keep this in the packaging but take your take your because I've already made, cut a hole out of this already but take your magnetic sheet take your template and cut out two of these one two one two okay so cut out two of your round circles all right and when you are done you should have two of these and this is um this is what we're going to use to close up the top of that small base okay so what we're going to do is we're going to take one of these and we're going to go ahead and we're going to attach it to the bowl just take a good look at it and make sure that you don't need to trim a little bit because you're, it's not going to be exact okay it's going to be a little rough so just take a look at the top and make sure that it lines up and that there's a little bit of space left over just a little bit and then just go ahead and trim and cut wherever you need to and we're going to seal up the top of this uh, little vase all right and how we're going to do that is with some E6000. And I'm simulating everything here, guys. This is I'm not actually doing it. And use your E6000 and go all the way around the rim. But hold it this way and go all the way around the rim. And just try to come just at the very top of the rim because we don't want to get any on the inside. So once you've done that, Go ahead and take your top and lay it down. All right. Wait about an hour. Okay. Adjust it exactly the way you want to. Okay. Wait about an hour. And then go ahead and add the other piece. Just putting the E6000 around the rim of the second piece of this uh, magnifying sheet and then place it on top of the one that's already there okay and then flip this thing upside down all right put a book on it and let it sit for 24 hours so that it absolutely adheres completely 24 hours once you've done that after 24 hours go back check on it make sure that everything has sealed up nicely once it's once it's completely sealed and the uh, E6000 has done what it's supposed to do go ahead and start gluing the bottom remove the sticker of course and then go ahead and start applying your E6000 to the bottom of the first beer glass and sit it on top Put a book on it and let it sit for another 24 hours okay once you've done that it's completely sealed this is the first part now the last section will be to go ahead and again remove the sticker and take your two finished pieces put it on top this is your trumpet base take your e6000 do exactly the same thing apply the e6000 to the bottom of the of the beer glass this is going to be turned upside down and apply it wait 24 hours again and let everything seal let everything just kind of adhere and um, solidify and you are done you have a beautiful trumpet base then you are completely done you have a beautiful beautiful trumpet base 
and um, it looks amazing it looks absolutely amazing so I'm going to take this and just kind of dismantle this because this was basically just to show you how to do it and here is the finished product ladies completely done just durable I mean it looks flawless there's really nothing else that you need to do if you do this part correctly if you do this top part correctly and cut this exactly the way it needs to be cut and just take your time with the glue and don't get too messy um, you won't even have to embellish anything around this section here where you actually joint the two pieces together it will look seamless so I think it looks great I mean you can it looks it looks good to me if you want to embellish around there just to cover up the seams you can do that but I think it looks fine just the way it is and um, it, it looks terrific to me and then what I did was I got one of these candle plates like I said and just took this and set it on top of the candle plate and then you're ready you're ready to go ahead and embellish this with all of your flowers and um, if you want to use beads or um, anything you can just go ahead and do that and um, and it'll look absolutely amazing I'm gonna go ahead and add the flowers to this alright here are the flowers I have bunched them up in my hands and again I use about 10 lilies and 10 hydrangeas and then I'm not quite sure what this is but this is some little spiky embellishment type thing that I also found at the Dollar Tree and I don't remember what it what it's called but I just pretty much just gathered all these flowers in my hand so I could just go ahead and put it into the vase and you can use real flowers if you want to um, because of course you can't put water in here since it is a, uh, a beer glass um, or you can just go ahead and use the far flowers from the Dollar Tree or from any craft store however you want to do it and um, I'm just kind of sticking these in here and it is quite tall people and so this is um this is the way it looks and i don't know if it's in camera view so i may have to pull my camera back a little bit i pulled my camera back a little bit so you could see it um but this is it and it looks absolutely gorgeous i also got this um since i was using kind of like purplish um hydrangeas i also got I went over to the little girl section and I got a feather boa and this one is in a really pretty lavender color and so I just cut a piece off and I'm just going to wrap it around the um, base of the flowers and you can um, secure this with some glue or um, I'm going to use a paper clip because I can just clip it to one of the stems of the flowers um, and it just makes it easier okay so there we have it so pretty let me turn this around and there you have it I'm actually going to take this off of here but I think it looks absolutely amazing I also um, added some acrylic gems in here as well I'm not going to do that but uh, you'll see it in the final photos uh, towards the end the fi final footage towards the end but you can put gel beads in here uh, you can put um, acrylic gems or you know whatever you want inside here and you can also maybe do something underneath here as well what I did was I took one of the flowers, uh, one of the lilies off and you can just pretty much just take one of the lilies and put it underneath here and that just kind of draws the whole thing in so you have the lilies at the top and then one inside. I thought that looked pretty good and it tied in everything. so that's an option as well you don't have to do that but I thought it looked pretty nice so that's it and I mean it was super super simple um, again I'll post what this uh, base retails for um, a 20 under 20 inch uh, re reversible um, trumpet base I will post how much it cost and this cost um, I think five bucks five bucks yeah about four to five dollars max 
So you can't beat that. I mean, if they wanted twenty dollars per base and you were able to do it with Dollar Tree items for five dollars, then that means that you are completely winning all day long. And this looks so freaking good. Like I'm thinking about I'm not thinking about, but I, I am going to use this um for my wedding. For my for my wedding reception. I'm definitely going to use it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope I wasn't too talkative. I was trying to rush through it because I gotta go see my grandson. I gotta go be with my grandbaby. So <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and as always don't forget to rate and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you are notified when I upload new videos. So that's it guys and I hope you have an awesome, awesome day and I will see you in the next DIY video. And I will be getting away from the vases for a little while and I'll be doing some different things, some home decor stuff. So stay tuned for that. Okay guys, have a great day. Bye.